Well guys, I tried. All the way from Ireland. I sincerely really tried. So I have no idea what's in here. But I just couldn't do it. The US Postal Service couldn't screw this up if they tried. I gave an unboxing a genuine try, but it just doesn't fit me or this channel. But with that being said, I do need to share some of the video that I took as far as that unboxing goes because the way that Davey from Brock Knives packages his knives, the way he presents them to the customer. Davey packages his knives very uniquely, very classy. Davey puts so much care into packaging his knives, mailing them off, and making the entire process a display of art almost. He sends them each in his own custom boxes. So you can see here. It's kind of ornate. Wow. Oh my. If these cards don't turn out and post, then I'll take a picture and paste it over here. But back on point, I don't want this to be too terribly long. He packages this almost like he was shipping eggs across the sea. But anyway, this is a first impressions video as you guys have probably picked up on. What we were talking about today is Brock knives. You've seen a, one other Brock knife on this channel a couple different times. But this one is a collaboration between the Living to Learn group on Facebook. Several different guys there had their hand in designing this knife, as well as Davy Crawford from Brock Knives. He finished it up, tweaked it a little bit, and made their dreams and their design a reality, so to speak. Now, both Davy Crawford and the guys from the Living to Learn group on Facebook, they're all from Ireland. Pretty cool group of folks. All the relevant links will be in the description, but as I have said, this is a first impressions video. Do a quick rundown on this knife so you guys are a bit familiar with it, but for the most part, I'm gonna let the knife do the talking here on this impressions video. This is the Horseman. It is a beast of a knife. It is a Scandi edge, but it is relatively unique in that the grind angle on this knife, it is 12 and a half degrees on either side. So it is relatively steep, but this is a huge chunk of steel. And what little use I have with this knife, that 12 and a half degrees is, seems to be, I mean, I'm, I haven't done enough with it to say conclusively yet, but it seems to be a really good sweet spot for this size of knife. As I said, this is a huge chunk of steel. It is about six inches on the blade end and about four and a half to five inches on the handle end. As far as the exact specifics, just pay attention to the review video coming out in a few weeks and I will list out the exact measurements and specifications there. This is O1 tool steel and I believe this is acid etched, I believe. It is some kind of patina. At first I thought it might be gun blued, but I do not believe that it is. It doesn't smell like it is. Another thing as far as the first impressions that I want to point out is the leather work that Davey does. It is spectacular. It is on par with any other maker that I have had contact with. Beautiful clean stitching, clean lines, exactly straight. Beautiful burnished edges, exact. I mean, they are exact. No rough spots, no miscuts, nothing to be seen there. Removable dangler. You have the Living to Learn stamp on this side of the sheath and you have the Brock knife stamp on this side of the sheath. Everything about this package just screams high quality handmade craftsmanship. Before we let the knife do the talking, one thing I want to clarify or describe about the design intent on this knife is in the woods, it is designed to be a one tool option. Chopping, batoning, you name it, it's supposed to do it, even down to the fine work. So with that being said, let's go ahead and let the knife do the talking. Folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please be sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe if you do, and I will see you next time. Enjoy the work.
This doesn't perform like a big knife. Thus far, I approve. 